WBC champion Vitaly Klitschko has now vacated the title to run for presidency in his country of Ukraine. This has been coming for a while and, you know, a lot of the boxing fans feared this um, when Vitaly started talking about his political career. Um, the fight was on and off with him, with Stivern. Negotiations were going, ongoing, never happened. Um, there was talk of, at uh, one point, possibly David Hay fighting Vitaly Klitschko. Now, this is quite funny, because in my mind, I don't know why um, Hay pulled out the first time. Well, they say it was the cut, and the second time it was the shoulder, which is obvious. But I've always been led to believe with David Hay that he would always pull out of a fight if he could get some more money on the table or a more um, reputable fight. You know, in far as far as I saw, David Hay had really not much to gain in terms of if he'd beat Fury, well, he was expected to beat Fury, and if he'd lost to Fury, his world title ambitions would have been out the window. A fight with Vitaly Klitschko, like I said before, would have been fantastic for Hay because had he lost to Hay, um, um, Vitaly, he would have lost against one of the all-time greats, and if he'd beaten Vitaly, he'd have beaten one of the all-time greats. So it all kind of matched up quite well for David Hay. The funny thing in this is, could you imagine if Vitaly Klitschko had even whispered to David Hayes' camp and said, you know what, forget about Tyson Fury, come and fight me for more money and opportunity to uh, get the WBC title. And Hay thought, yeah, okay, I'll do that. And then Vitaly went, you know what, I have no intention of fighting you whatsoever. I've seen the way you've done it to other people's careers. I'm just going to simply vacate the title and continue with my political career. I never have no real intention of fighting you, you know, you were disrespectful to my brother, and I can't beat you with my fists, but I can do this instead, which is even sweeter. So, I don't know, I don't know if if, if Hayes' uh, chain was yanked at any point by Klitschko, uh, Vitaly I'm talking about. Um, I heard recently that David Hay was talking about if his shoulder heals up, he'd be looking to get a rematch against uh, Vladimir in 2014. I'm not saying any more about that. You know my views. If you don't know my views, check out my video on David Hay Comeback 2014. So, what can I say? I think David Hay's leaving himself the, the door ajar. As for the WBC, Jose Suleiman has said that um, as a gesture and as goodwill and a token, the WBC still consider Vitaly the number one man, regardless of whoever the champion be is. Um, and although Vitaly says because of the politics and how in-depth politics will be for him and how seriously he's going to have to be involved, he can't see himself making a comeback. If he were to ever make a comeback, um, Vitaly Klitschko would be the number one challenger, whomever the champion may be. So, wherever the champion is, they would have to defend against Vitaly Klitschko. <laughs> so, there's a thought. If his run, his presidential run, doesn't work out, I wonder, will we see Vitaly in the ring again? Probably not, but who knows. Big credit to Vitaly Klitschko. He has remained unbeaten for the last decade. His last defeat came to Lennox Lewis. And since then, he's taken on a string of challenges and in my mind, I think he's fought the better opposition between him and his brother. And I've always rec recognised uh, Vitaly Klitschko as the heavyweight champion of the world. Despite his brother holding more belts, I've always felt that Vitaly Klitschko would always have beaten his brother. I've always felt that Vitaly was universally recognised as the number one in the world. Um, with so many years of dominance, um, he has been an outstanding champion in and out of the ring. The only thing for Vitaly... His career-defining fight has eluded him so far. His fight against um, Lennox Lewis really goes down as the fight for him. Despite him losing in that fight, um, you know he still ended up being a winner. Uh, because if you look at the fight, he was considered a coward. Not a coward, a quitter. With this fight with uh, Chris Bird because he injured his shoulder. And he quit on his stool. And, you know... The Lennox Lewis fight, he stood like a warrior, a brave warrior, and fought toe to toe with Lewis. He fought toe to toe against with Corey Sanders. That was a very exciting fight for him to win the WBC title. 
Sanders who had knocked out his brother um, in quite conclusive style and fashion. It was a great fight there. You had the Ariola fight, another big fight that Vitaly Klitschko was in. Vitaly Klitschko also fought Derek Chisora, um, Manuel Shah, um, Shannon Briggs. and put an awful beating in Shannon Briggs. I don't think in any at uh, any time in Briggs' career, I don't think he would have been able to deal with Vitaly Klitschko. Um, again, so you just it tells you just how good Vitaly Klitschko really was. Robotic, they may say, unbeaten in 10 years and fought the very best that was available to him at the time. Um, I just didn't think the Stavern fight was, was a fight that would make would make a lot of money. No interest in Vitaly Klitschko. And, you know, at, at Vitaly's age now, would Stavern have beaten Vitaly Klitschko, he's a heavy puncher, takes a good punch, good boxing skill. Do you really want to be having a fight like that now at your age? I don't know. Would that be a career-defining fight? I don't think so. So, again, congratulations to Vitaly Klitschko for a fantastic career. He, in my mind, goes down as an all-time great. I think in any of the eras, whether it be the era of Ali, the era of, you know... Uh, you know, where we had Mike Tyson, the era of Lennox, the Lennox Lewis era, the Holyfield era, any of those eras, I think, Vitaly Klitschko would have held his own, to be honest. Whether he would have been a, a heavyweight champion of the world in, in Muhammad Ali's era, well, that is going to be the question, really, isn't it? I'll let you boxing fans decide that. But I, um, all I have to say is thank you, Vitaly Klitschko, for the memories. And let the fight for the WBC title begin.